there's this sort of sense with young people, especially young girls, this narrative of resilience. I've heard that so much during the pandemic. And they are, not to say they're not. Um, but that doesn't mean we can just use that as saying, well, you know, they'll get over it or they'll grow from it. Like th there, there's so much there that needs to be explored and examined and addressed. Motion Stop Motion is a community-based research creation project that taught girls aged 14 to 18, uh, girls from black and brown communities, how to use stop motion animation to narrate their experiences of the pandemic and its effects on their hopes for the future. So we chose to make stop motion animation films with Lego figures for three reasons. Number one, it's super creative and fun. So there's some critical distance from the seriousness of uh, the subject matter. Number two, the process of stopping and moving figures um, in small increments somewhat resembles the experience of kind of going in and out of lockdown. Um, and number three, it was a way of expanding and affirming um, the girls' skill set through tools that were already accessible to them. We built our work really on the emerging research on COVID uh, that was happening at the time. But one thing that I found particularly surprising for me at least, was there's this great sense of pessimism for the future for the young people that I think, you know, came out of the impacts of COVID, you know, apart from the actual pandemic itself, uh, but in terms of job prospects, uh, in terms of housing, this idea that they think that they cannot live in the city that is home to them or they grew up in um, if they ever want to own a house. As we're regaining a sense of um, normalcy and there's this movement towards recapturing some of the rhythms of life pre-pandemic, there is a sense in which folks can also feel left behind. We wanted to ensure that these voices would not be forgotten during this movement uh, towards regaining a sense of normalcy. I just really don't want people to discount these girls' voices. They matter, and they're actually really important uh, in helping us find stronger, more effective ways to move forward as a society.